Hey guys, Big John's Toy Box back with another review. Today we have Star Wars The Mandalorian. This is the Credits Collection 6 inch black series Mandalorian. This figure looks awesome. The packaging is sweet. It's like Retro Kenner. It says Kenner. It has like the credit art. Figure is not the traditional Mandalorian color scheme. It's based on the credit art, which I thought was awesome. It's very, very kind of like stylized and almost like comic book art time kind of so it's really cool don't know what this is exactly but all the credit series comes with these if you look at the back has a nice big read up or a nice read up if you want to read it well, i'll read it for you guys this distinctive collection features premium deco applications inspired by the end credit images from the mandalorian plus a collectible imperial credit accessory after the fall of the galactic empire uses of their form of money imperial credits became less common with many planets refusing payments in the currency on principle. Better picture of the credit. Very cool packaging. Like this is a figure. Like if I was a collector and keep in box, this would be an awesome figure to do it. But I don't. So that being said, you know what time it is. Pop right into it. First, I want to say, how are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. As always, I'm doing very, very well. Got some more awesome figures to review, so that is always good. So first, let's just look at this real quick. The Imperial Credit. It's cool. It's almost like a chip. Like a poker chip, almost. Just... It's cool, but I'll be honest, I kind of have no use for it. And with the weapon, here we got Mandalorian's pistol. Very nice detail with the brown handle. Very, very cool. Then we got his rifle, brown handle, nice silver, doesn't look like silver paint, but just kind of, or it looks like it's cast in like a gray paint, and then the handle's painted brown, which is really cool, I like the, kind of like the non-black, just flat black, because most Star Wars weapons, from what I've noticed, are like kind of like a flat back, maybe a gray dry brushing, it's a little bit different, which is really cool, make it a better view, there we go. And here we got the figure itself. So, first I want to say I did have the regular Mando at one point. I ended up, um, kind of when I was getting out of the Black Series, sold them off. Then I've been getting back in it. And I was like, man, I like the Mandalorian designs. I have the, I have the um, Empire Boba Fett. I have the Darth Maul Mandalorian Super Commander, or Super Commando, excuse me. So I was like, I want to get a Mando because I actually like the show. So I found this one. I was just searching Amazon. I was like, whoa, they have it because this is the one I wanted because I like the design. So I picked it up. So just looking through, it looks awesome. The paint is awesome. The big thing I noticed that drew me in was the head. If I can get a little bit of light, a little bit of focus. There we go. The head looks damaged, like worn, and it looks awesome. Same thing on the battle armor. It's a lot more vibrant with the blues and tans and kind of like almost like a reddish brown. But that is the thing I love about it. It's like almost comic book inspired. And so I really, really like it. Is that the, the holster? Which pops it out. This one does look a little bit different than the original man though that dropped because that was the one I had. This one looks a tad different with like the holster. I know this, the original one didn't have this type of holster and are just a little bit different. But this one's awesome. It has the green kind of like um, cape. Let me go down, it has like a, a light blue shin guard. And it has nice wear all over. Really, really awesome figure. And kind of like an orange brown shoes. 
So, for articulation, it goes up that much. Down very, very good. Yeah, I can turn 360, so no worries about that. Arms go out, but that's causing the shoulder pad to have to go onto this armor. So watch out for one, paint chipping, and two, if the shoulder pad gets loose and maybe falls off. So I would kind of really not want to do that too, too much. But it can also go 360. Bend at the elbow. Then at like the gauntlet, it returns. Then hand goes down like that goes up no forward or back that's about it same articulation on the other hand except this hand can bend in like that and bend out then we have kind of like a ab articulation and go back that much forward that much it can go 360 but obviously again hindered from his belt or yeah, I guess I'd say bell. So then, legs go that far out. Watch out for this, the these parts of the belt, and this part because they kind of overlap each other. Don't really go back. Double joint and knee. The Hasbro special, super super good. Oh, and before I miss it, there is a cut at the thigh. No boot cut or anything, but foot is up, or forward, back, ankle rocker. Look at this crazy good ankle rocker. That's wild. <laughs> but super, super, super sweet. I think this is a great figure. It's, I'd say it's a figure almost that you would need to like want to have like if you're looking for a mandalorian but you're looking for like the standard design and you don't like the super vibrant colors you're gonna want to pass on this but if you're like me like super stylized stuff or just want to add another mandalorian and you're a big star wars fan go ahead and add it the gun does go into this peg hole in the back you just gotta line it up you can see i'm trying to get in there but it's it's an awesome figure like, I think if you, you're a big Mandalorian fan, this is a figure that should interest you because it is a, a great figure. Um, so overall, I recommend it. It's an Amazon exclusive, so it's, you're not gonna, you're gonna have to get it from Amazon. It, from what I heard, it's been a very good selling figure, so it wasn't the easiest. I just happened to stumble upon it. But if you get a chance to get it, it's... It's it's truly an awesome figure. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's put him kind of like in a bounty hunter esque type of pose. There we go. Pretty cool. So very very awesome looking figure. Highly recommend it. If you could pick it up, I'd say go ahead. If you're a fan of Mandalorian or Star Wars, go ahead. It's I just love the paint. Dude, that's what you're paying for. You're paying for. If you already have the right one, you were just paying for a different paint deco, and I think it's worth it. I think it's a awesome figure. Or if you're a mint on card collector, an awesome figure as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next one.